Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Ratnatube. My name's Gar, and I thank everyone for watching my videos. And if you like them, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Doesn't matter, all the same. Today I'm just going to go into um, the Minax, so the um, Cyberbrugopus or ex Haplopelma Minax, the Thai Black Tarantula. A while ago uh, it dropped an egg sac and um, in all honesty I've still got five days before I should be pulling this egg sac but I had a look at it today, just behind you there, and I'm not sure this egg sac looks right. It's a bit flat, it's looking a bit weird so I'm going to pull the egg sac now and uh, we'll have a bit of a chat about my knacks also as well I want to put in um, some de um, egg development or developmental um, information so when I pull this egg sac it should be uh, eggs or maybe eggs with legs I'll show you the um, Chylobrachis huahini, which are just literally about to pop into spiderlings from a nymph stage to a spiderling stage. Many different spiders have different developmental stages, like um, Postlotheria for uh, Metallica, for instance, has one extra stage, nymph stage. So that's quite interesting, and there will be a video, um, a full video, just about egg development with different species coming up probably in about two weeks. I'm about three quarters of the way through that video. So if that's something you want to look forward, uh, want to see, sorry, look, look forward to, or you are looking forward to, hit that reminder button there, notification bell. Bing, bing. So I popped up my Nax just here for the minute, um, just so I could have a good look in the light to make sure that my um, suspicions were correct. And it does look a bit iffy. So I'm willing to pull it early and incubate rather than risk either her eating it or it rotting it down there in the burrow. Unfortunately with these things, these large um, uh, fossorial tanks, it's very difficult to get that uh, egg sac out without destroying a burrow. So just below me here is probably the only clear space in my spider room at the moment. I have trashed the place, right? Um, so I'll get it out and we will redo the uh, the enclosure as well hopefully she'll feed because she must be hungry by now um let's do that okay firstly you'll see this massive massive bowl at the top so we're going to remove this first now there's no real way uh, all i have to do is just to tip it out slowly and um, with her being on the bottom if we do tip it out making sure that uh, she doesn't run up, up into the top burrow there's no way that she's going to get squashed by uh, the substrate even though right this substrate uh, is coir so it's very very light and uh, dusty and Cyropogopus minax are bloody indestructible they like the hulk literally the more they get pissed off the nastier and stronger they get so excuse me if you if i get in the way just be able to see there is an egg sac in there, but it's a bit flat, right? Doesn't look great. So I, I can see her, she's right there. Sorry guys, you can't see anything. How's about that? So there's the egg sac, you can see you know, she's at the, the top, which is now the top, which obviously was the bottom to start with. Okay, I know this is going to look a bit dodge, but you just give it a gentle shake. Oh, and she's out. She's right now at the top. So I'm going to need... I can see her legs. Ooh! I think I can just 
Oi. Where's my catch cup? I've got a big one for this girl. She does not want to move at all. To be fair, oh. neither would I if I had an egg sack. Oh, she's dropped the egg sack, look. It is perfect opportunity now to get her into a catch cup. There she is. Stick that lid on. Bolt it up so that she doesn't fly around the place. Right then, wait, let's have a look. So where she put that egg sack? There it is. So that should be quite an easy. Hey guys, so much easier with the, the actual spider in there. It actually looks now, right? So it actually looks a lot better now that it's out here. But it was very flat. There's Mam. There's Egg Sack. There's Mam. So let's have a quick. Uh, these tear quite easily, um, Savi Pagopus Egg Sacks. But if I do need to, I've got. Um, Scissors, baby. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. I was completely wrong. We have quite a lot. Of eggs with legs, look. So in there you can see a lot of uh, eggs that are developed into uh, EWLs, eggs with legs. I don't, I can't see any. Bad eggs in there. The fly away. <laughs> Bloody flies, I hate flies. So, awesome. I'll pop that in for incubation now. And we are good to go. We're sorting out that enclosure for the female. I'll tell you what we'll do as well, we'll pop a water bowl back in as well because now there's no risk of her dumping that egg sack into the water bowl and I'm pretty happy then uh, she'll probably need a drink and a feed. So let's stick a big ass water bowl in there. When she had the egg sack I noticed that it uh, she dropped. I remove any kind of any kind of um, uh, water sources, water bowls in there, just because in the past they're bastards for dumping their stuff. Also as well when you've got an, a, a, um, a burrow like this right down to the glass, when you when you wet and soak in there, all the water will gather in the bottom and if that gathers in the bottom the egg sack will just rot and go sodden. So this time I wanted to uh, make sure that I didn't do any mistakes at all. Before I pop her back into this burrow, let's have a quick look at her, see if she'll uh, behave for us. Oh, I don't think she's gonna behave. And you know what? I don't want to lose her like I did the other spider under the shelves, even though we found that spider. It's not worth it. So that is, uh, well, it's not really a Minax, I don't think, but it's in the Minax family. It's what's called, um, in the hobby, it's uh, Haplopelma species Big Black. But nevertheless, a gorgeous looking spider. I'm going to stick the, uh, uh, the, what's it called, flash on for a sec, see if it's better. Uh, no, not really.
Now she's thin, she needs uh, a feed. So what I'll do first is I'll just uh, swap cameras and we can pop her back in and hopefully she'll go straight on a burrow without any drama for me. She's gone straight down the burrow. I've always got a bit of a twitch when it comes to my knacks because they are uh, a gnarly bastard, I've got to be honest. Yep, she's gone down the burrow. <coughs> Lid back on. Happy days. Oh, so what do we reckon about that? That was pretty cool, I thought. Um, before I leave you, I'm going to show at the end, uh, I'm going to show, first of all, the eggs with legs that we've seen well we've seen that so that's fine and then i'm going to show you the developmental stage from a nymph hopefully into a spideling ready for that video that's coming soon please guys if you like anything that i do hit the subscribe button tell, tell a friend we need to get this channel and roll in and stay safe always take care so here we go these are the uh, kylobrachis huahini they're far more lively much darker these will molt honestly any second now. So I'm literally stood over them, uh, watching them every 30 minutes, double checking on them. Once they start to pop into spiderlings, I'm gonna be um, doing a time lapse. So they all should go within about a couple of hours of each other. And it's incredible to watch. Um, so hopefully I can catch that for you unless, you know, I, like the last time I fell asleep. But uh, that's what they like now. 